Hello students, welcome back to one more tutorial on design of steel structures. Today's topic is calculation of pole strength in case of a double cover butt joint. So this is the problem we are going to do in solve in this tutorial. Double cover butt joint and the cover plate being is 8 mm thick. Now let's get into the problem. I had written down all the data, all the all now first the grade of steel FUB is equal to 410 MPA then the grade of bolts ultimate tangential strength of bolt FUB is equal to 400 MPA then the partial safety factor of the bolt material gamma MB is equal to 1.25 according to the code then the diameter of the bolt given in the problem is equal to 20 mm then we will write the thickness of the plates to be jointed thickness T is equal to 12 mm After that, since we are considering a double cow butt joint, the number of shear planes with threads intercepting the shear plane NN is equal will be 2 and I am considering there are no shear planes and NS is equal to 0. Nominal shank area as we saw in other tutorials, tutorial number 1 and 2, nominal shank area can be taken as pi by 4 into d square. That is ASB is equal to pi by 4 into d square, we will get 314 mm square. After that, the net shear area of the bolt at the thread portion can be calculated as 0 0.78 into nominal plane shank area that is ASB. Therefore, 0.78 into ASB is equal to 44.92 mm square. Then the diameter of the bolt hole can be taken from table 19 IS 800 2007 that is equal to for a given 20 mm bolt, the diameter hole can be taken as 22 mm. Then from the code, edge distance is calculated as 1.5 times diameter of the hole that is 1.5 into 22 mm that is equal to 33 mm. Then the assumed pitch distance. I am assuming a pitch distance of 50 mm. Then we will find out the value of KB. KB is used to calculate the bearing strength of the bolt. So KB is calculated according to the below three conditions. That is value of E by 3D0, value of P by 3D0 minus 0 0.25, value of FUB by FU. We will calculate all these three values and we will take the minimum of these three values as KB value. Therefore, I will insert some Excel formula to calculate these three values we get we got e by 3d not value as 0 0.5 and I am writing I am inserting some formula for P by 3D0 minus 0.25 as you can see. Whenever you are feeling doubt about the formula I am writing, you can just pause the video and you can see the formula above in the function area so that you can create your own file. After calculating all the four values, we will take the minimum value 0.5 as the value of KB. After calculating the value of KB, we will calculate the shear capacity of the bolt and the bearing capacity of the bolt. First, we will calculate nominal shear capacity VNSB. We have the VNSB formula is equal to FUB by root 3 into NN into AN plus NS into ASB. Therefore, we know all the values. We have written all the values of NN, NS, ANB and ASB in above cells. So, we will just directly write a formula and import the values. So, that we will get nominal shear capacity value. So, FUB FUB is 400 MPA that is B6, FUB root 3 value 1.732, just I am writing the formula of FUB by root 3 into NN into NB plus NS into SB, you can just check the formula in the above function box if you have any doubt. So if you, so after entering the formula, just click on enter, we will get the value, the value is that I got it is in Newtons, we will just convert it into kilonewtons by dividing it with the thousand value, I am, I will be dividing it with, 
the shear design shear capacity can be calculated by nominal shear capacity by partial safety factor that is 1.25 therefore design shear capacity we got is 90501 newtons i am going to convert these two values into kilonewtons by just dividing those values with 1000 that is b 11000 by 1000 and 95000 that is equal to 90.501 kilonewtons so we got our design shear capacity value as 90.501 kilonewtons in the similar way we will be calculating the bearing capacity of the bolt using the bearing capacity formulas from clause 10.3.4 IS 800 2007 so we will calculate nominal shear capacity of the bolt we will write the formula of 2.5 kb dt fu we will just insert the values in the excel and we will write the formula and we will get the output in the meanwhile students if you did not see our previous lectures on design how to calculate the design of bolt in case of a lab joint how to calculate design of bolt in case of a single carbot joint you can see the links in the below de description and you can watch those and you can also find videos on how to design singly reinforced beam in case of rcc structure and how to design a doubly reinforced beam in case of a rcc structure so you can see all kind of videos so we can see here we got our nominal bearing strength of the bolt as 13200 newtons and design bearing strength is calculated by nominal design bearing strength is equal to nominal bearing strength by partial safety factor 1.25 so click on it so we got the nominal bearing design bearing strength as 10500 1,5600 newtons therefore we will convert the values into kilonewtons that is nominal bearing strength is 132 kilonewtons and design bearing strength we got is 105.0 kilonewtons therefore the strength of the bolt is always taken as the minimum value of the both design shear capacity and the design bearing capacity so here we can clearly see that the design shear capacity of the bolt is less than the design bearing strength of the bolt therefore the strength of the bolt is taken as 90 point the strength of the bolt is taken as design shear capacity that is equal to 90.501 kilonewtons i am just writing the condition yeah, an if condition to showcase the minimum value automatically once we did the calculations so you can see the the last line strength of bolt in lab joint that is a direct condition if you so this is how we will calculate the bearing strength of the bolt in case of a double cover but joint so all the three excel files all the three tutorials till now i showed are the basic excel files and in the future videos i'll be showing how to calculate how to calculate these strengths in a complex type of mode for different grades of steel and different grades of plate thicknesses and different values so that's it for this guys that's it for this video guys in the next video we are going to learn how to calculate efficiency of a lab joint using excel so hope you all like this video and further videos subscribe to our channel thank you